rock and roll. It's time for breaking chains. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Sometimes we gotta take it on the chin. And this is the uh, judgment of Satan, Diablo, Mephistopheles, Basilub, Snake and Beetle. Yep. So, just Google. Google anything now, dude. So here we go. There he is. And he has been hogtied by Michael, Daniel 12, and cast early into the pit because first is last, last is first. One of the last things in the Bible was always scheduled to be first. And the fires of his animosity and his undoing. The Bible predicts that people will look down upon him in the pit with their spiritual eyes and they'll realize was that the little tiny itty bitty uh, weakling being that caused so much trouble on uh, planet earth so it's time to realize the hollywoodized version of the devil has been way far off and uh, so it's it's time to gain new understandings about him and uh, Mephistopheles, and uh, very, very, you know, the old uh, pitchfork and all that uh, good stuff. This, this whole world has been influenced mightily by something that was not even in the Bible. It was called Dante's Inferno. It was, I believe, 14th century. And that ever more tainted religion. And uh, it was like tradition added to relig religion's gross darkness that we created our, ourselves. And uh, so it's uh, heavy. And I'm just going to punch in one other thing. Since this is the dove's word about uh, Satan, I think this might be appropriate. And uh, if I can find it. The nice thing about YouTube, it's always there, right? And uh, all it takes is just looking sometimes. Uh, okay, let's go there. Videos. Looking at videos. So praise the Lord that the day has finally come forth, beloved, when um, when all this, this is the, um, the days of Daniel 12. And I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. And uh, praise the Lord that if, if I'm not crazy, I'm crazy about love. That's what I'm crazy about. If I'm not crazy, everything that I'm saying is all good news, number one. And number two, uh, what it is, is uh, it proves that the Lord's return is, is very, very close to us and uh, I wish I had oh there's my glasses I was gonna say I wish I had my glasses I'm here squinting because I'm about 59 I'm uh, I am the alcoholic of uh, Genesis 49 and 49 12 one uh, dull of uh, eyes dull of wine and red of wine well I can't find what I was looking for but uh, anyways I do uh, it's not I do I wish that uh, all people will clue clue in to what I'm saying because the clue is that the Lord is good God and he is given judgment over all that we have not imagined. So it is time, beloved. So the word on Satan, here we go, are you ready? He has been fired because he can't be the accuser of the brethren anymore because God has just uh, announced to mankind, I will forgive your iniquity and I will remember it no more. It was given, the words of the covenant were given to us in advance. We've had these words for 3,000 years, but no one understood them. But I am the latter day Daniel who has the gift of prophecy interpretation. So it came to pass, people, came to pass. Three, four little words, it came to pass. Four little words, 
some of the biggest words in all of history. It came to pass. What change? It came to pass because all things passed. It came to pass that the snake of Eden pridefully said unto our Lord Yahweh, as the God of truth, can you deny that men won't always run towards their own carnality, which shall come forth like a fast flowing flood to wipe away all righteousness off earth? Can you deny that God? Brassy guy, you gotta give the devil his due. And then he said to the Lord, and can ye as the God of honesty ever admit that my solid net of deception won't catch many more souls than a holy net of many holds that easily, easily lets any of them escape from walking the roads that you want to? He's getting in God's face. So the devil gets told off by God. Then our Father of Lights gazed upon all of Satan's wheels spinning which were trying to spin him all around. And the Lord God said unto that son of haughtiness, he said, yet shall your sorry backside be brought down into hell to the flaming sides of the pit and shut now the mouth that my word created for in spite of thee, my elect shall be overcomers and possess much unending light, joy and peace and they shall inherit the earth. But as for you, O father of lies, greatly shall you be accursed, and know well that wisdom shall be given unto my chosen as they seek it at the marriage supper of the Lamb, as they live evermore and will not again tra transgress by their pride days of the harvest. For they shall humble themselves, possessing intelligence, and they will not repeat their transgressions or bow unto you because you shall be removed. Then Father God stresses our great future. And the Lord said, and those who exalt my word of love, who is Isa Yeshua Jesus, the risen one of John 10, 15, the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, as he foretold coming in the garden of Gethsemane. And all those exalting that roaring lion of Zion shall not be forsaken the whole period of their lives, and they shall grow old without any condemnation, as much joy is multiplied unto them, together with the greatest of peace. But as for thee, O profound one of the ages, profane one of the ages, you shall walk the stones of hellfire, for you have completely defiled your own sanctuary by the multitude of your willful iniquities and by your backstabbing ways. Therefore, after my kingdom age of Jesus is finished and your work is done, uh, I shall bring forth an infernal fire from the midst of thee and burn you to ashes in the sight of all those beholding thee. And you shall be like a dissolving terror and a faded darkness that so easily is overcome by the dimmest light of my energized word. And once you awake from your dream, you shall be in torment forever all throughout eternity. And the devil was angry because of this. So it shall then come about while the redeemed of Yahshua are gazing down into the great smoldering lake of fire, they'll see that helpless critic of critics who shall exist therein without any purpose or power. And so shall it be all throughout the following 1,000 year reign of our Lord of love, Emmanuel comes again soon unto his temple, as Malachi foretold in person. And that infamous producer of everything vile who once shook the earth silly with his satanic power, who has now been removed, shall finally be made has finally been made harmless in his fiery home of his most extreme kind of molten horrors ever beheld. Did, did an insignificant being make a huge mess or did mankind blame him for too much? I ask, not God. I am Elijah. So the devil makes a mockery of himself, rightly so. Because he's, he's the father of morgue official. Not the real father, but uh, adopted. Yeah. Hey, Morgan. Love you. 
He's the one, the lawless one that would be re that had to be revealed before the Messiah could come back. Second Thessalonians. He's a sword swallower off freak show. Believe it or not, it's a true story. He's still swallowing that blade. I keep telling him, you know what God say, and he's not listening to me. He's not listening to no logic and reason. That's what he says his religion is all about, logic and reason. I don't know, that don't sound too reasonable to me. Then every glorified immortal will be shocked to see that such a wretched excuse for a washed up angel caused all of the damage that he once had. And every evermore shall the resurrected constantly be shaking their heads in disbelief that such an itty bitty being caused such mega huge problems as he did. So praise God that this age old tormentor of the saints of our most high will finally be seen as the puny little heretic he's always been ever since he first chose disobeying his own maker and made himself into the lowly creature of all uh, creator of all useless rebellion. All in vain was his work. For our Lord is the victor of all victory and the overcomer of all overcomers. And that is what he has done by his word. And he has averted and changed our future by his word. He is faithful to, to uh, accomplish that which he has spoken. His word never returns void unto himself. He said that unless the former age of grace had been cut short by his kingdom age, new covenant, of Malachi 3.1, the covenant message that no flesh could have been saved the other way. But now, now he's given that word and he's averted and changed our future. It shall not play out as people believe. Armageddon shall not come. Because why? Because the fathers are going to turn their love to their children, children to their fathers through this message. And everybody's going to start loving everybody a little bit more. And that will make all the difference to this world to keep it from being days as Noah's destructed, destroyed, totally, oblivion for all, annihilation, desolation, uh, by Zephaniah 1, by Isaiah 20, 25, <laughs> by uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18, by uh, Malachi 4, 6, by Matthew 24, 22, all foretell our totally oblivion that is erasable as Malachi 4, 6 was revealed. And all of creation will see our all see that our Almighty had a really big sense of humor when he allowed that little bitty weakling to become one of the biggest jokes of absolutely all time. Beloved, know this: the the devil receives far too much blame for the sinfulness of man. Uh, nor does mankind need need him at all in order to be sinful all by ourselves. We don't need his help at all. So it's a good thing he has been removed. One of the last things foretold in the Bible because it was always going to be one of the first things. First is last, last is first. And But the biggest joke is that many believers are so out of it, they actually think the devil personally bothers them on a daily basis. With over 7 billion people on earth as of the year 2015 when I wrote this, if he really could bother everyone every day, he would have to bug close to 300 million souls every single hour. Just like just like uh, uh, Satan spelled uh, differently is Santa. If they want to believe in Santa Claus, that's the kind of Satan that they have been believing in. So it's time for the, the wise to do some math. Come on, come on, get your calculator out. But until the, he finally receives God's promise, Satan, and he has now, he could only, uh, before he was banished, he could only speak to maybe 12 souls every hour if he spent five minutes with each. And that would work out to only a maximum of 288 people he could see in a single day if he never took any breaks to sharpen his nice little horns. Thus saith God, most people have never met Lucifer, for that liar already has most of them in their power, and he never has to bother with them at all. But now he has been removed, and Satan cannot accuse mankind, so he has been removed, as Daniel 12 foretold. Therefore, don't let the residual mess that Satan left behind put a question mark where God has placed 
three exclamation marks. So don't be stupid. That name has been reserved for Satan. And it's time for the dove's seriousness, beloved. True godly love never has any fear. So let those of all truth become humbled as they show these those of uh, the world Christ's deep love by welcoming everybody's commonalities and God's highest praises into their midst. Nor should any, any loving soul, uh, uh, any person of obedience, ever be compromised by such wise obedience because that won't happen and uh, that happening won't change any theology or any doctrines of man. God comes to tear it all down. Haggai 2.2 2 and Jeremiah 1.10. We know therefore that peaceful people adore the Lord just as uh, Christians, Muslims, and Jewish people do. We are all the same. There's never been a difference between Jew or Gentile or anybody. This is all of our own creation, all of our own imagination. Uh, a born-again, spirit-filled Christian is the same exact person as a, as a loving person of any other uh, religion. And all religion is now obsolete by the word of God that has unfolded at, in this latter-day hour, exactly as it is foretold in Daniel 12, 9. For it was only closed until the time of the end, beloved. And day by day, as New T Testament believers admit to the truth behind my revelations, uh, their faith's love won't be fearful of anything aside from this plan's rejection by legalistic and apostate churches that have transformed into social clubs. Therefore, these are the days of Habakkuk 2.2. 2. And the just shall live by my faith and evacuate quickly. Run the great exodus. And actually, it doesn't even have to be because I don't think no churches are much, uh, much open these days. But uh, some are. But it's time to leave any happy, happy, joy, joy club that if you're not a member, that everybody else is damned. That's nothing but racism, beloved. And God's kingdom aids covenant now proves total equality of absolutely every single living being that has their love light on before his great white throne. So the spirit of peace is now blowing as a, a mighty storm and, uh, and concerning any apostate churches of tares, for the wheat must leave the tares, the spiritual must leave the religious. And concerning them, or uh, it is now God's command, let it be known that he is now saying, Beware then, O people of light, for where the carcass is, there gather the vultures, and thereafter comes the crows and the blackness of doom. And before the darkest darkness of the great tribulation could come forth, so also would the angel of the Lord come, and between his lips, and he has come, and his great white cloud is above us, and he has sent forth his everlasting gospel. And I am the writer, Daniel, uh, foretold to be one like uh, Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, and only death is uh, ahead for those that will not obey me. For uh, unto me shall be the obedience of the whole world, exactly as Genesis 49 foretells and know that uh, as the angel of the Lord he is coming now upon that great white cloud and all can rapture unto him now and uh, between his lips the breath of life he's blowing and the winds winds of wisdom are flowing as his children of light breathe in the light of love so there shall be signs of the times that shall be made clear beloved but when they breathe out, when people of love and obedience breathe out, the sky shall quickly be darkened, says the Lord Spirit, and sweet air will become foul. Uh, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken with the fury of a cyclone against all hatefulness to destroy all racism on planet Earth. But woe unto those drunken as a fool with no ears to hear who refuses to be sober with wisdom. For in these uh, beginning days of the kingdom age manifesting, false prophets and corruptors can be multiplied and it won't make any difference at all. For God's word co uh, condemns not them unless they let their heart uh, grow totally cold and their love die out. Uh, born again atheists, many are there. Uh, and uh, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. First John 4, 7. That means if you're loving this or a loving alcoholic or whatever, don't matter. Because the truth is, people, 
it was foretold in the end that God would rip down all the kingdoms of our imagination. And the truth is, uh, the, the, the laborer that comes at the end of the day gets paid the same wages as those that have been working all day long, according to the word of God, according to the parable of Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, our carpenter of the ages, who is fully in uh, restoration mode for his great reformation, for his great restoration, uh, the restitution of earth and the great refreshing thereof, Acts 3.21. And within these days, false prophets and corruptors will be multiplied, and the sheep shall be turned into wolves, and love shall be turned into hate, and then shall the creation of men come into the fire of the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3 time, to, so God can bring his word of patience to keep you all from the hour of the temptation, not to listen to his covenant messenger, Daniel, who is as Moses. I am one like Moses, Deuteronomy uh, 13, 13. So praise the Lord that all things are coming to pass. And many shall be made to stumble and shall perish by their lovelessness, by letting their love light go out, unforgivable sin. But those enduring in their love shall be saved from under the curse. For those walking with the Spirit, says the Lord, uh, are those walking with their love light on intact. Deliverance now shall flow from our Messiah. Blessed, therefore, is the man who puts his trust in the Lord, beloved. And uh, while respecting not the proud who turns the lie turns to the lies of many deviant ways, and when such souls comprehend that he, our Lord, has brought forth this wonderful message of divinity for them, they'll finally realize that no man could ever count all the blessings herein. And all those doing our, our beloved ones will, will, will evermore rejoice. And they'll find his law of love in their hearts. For he's already had his word of peace preached into the thronging multitudes since it's finally the time for Trudy and Daniel to fully declare his counsel for all brethren of love all throughout the world, regardless of what religion you are, uh, as we all uh, exalt the uh, love before us. So join Trudy and me over at the station and uh, come over to the, to the marriage supper of Isaiah 25 that awaits for one and all to remove everyone's shame and disgrace. So let it be known that I, Daniel, and my sister Trudy hid the righteousness of God in our hearts, and we're proudly declaring the Lord's faithfulness and grace unto all multitudes who shall listen. So let every person of love now bring forth new sacrifices of obedience unto our Lord. And let somebody start giving me comments, thumbs up, uh, start sharing this uh, word of this channel. And somebody out there is going to send me a million dollars, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. Armageddon, A-R-M-A-G-E-D-D-O-N dot O-W-S-L-E-Y at gmail.com. Send me five bucks. Show me you care, people. I'm out here uh, dying. I'm uh, uh, getting weir weary and well-doing because it's like nobody gives a crap that I have brought forth all the prophecy of Jesus. I have brought forth the prophecies of Jesus. Hello? Anybody house? Or is there no sharp uh, knives in the drawer? I condemn you not, but you condemn yourself if you will not act, because if you not act, you are in line with the wrong guy by default. So let every loving person now bring forth sacrifices, ones that will allow the Lord to see their choice of purity and life, a contrite heart, and their spirits that are full of faith and love, for he wants to receive such as they embrace this Islamic word of peace. And this is the word of peace for the Hindus, and the word of peace for the Baha, and the word of the peace for the agnostics, and for the atheists, and the word of peace for the Jews, and the word of peace for Christians, Protestant, and Catholic, and uh, uh, everyone. 
Whether you believe or not has never been important, for our righteousness has always been as filthy rags, says the Lord. And it's never been about what we've done for him, but what he has done for us. All religion is obsolete, Hebrews 8. So it's time for mankind to magnify God. Let all men lift up his name. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess the name of love. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should not perish but have everlasting love and everlasting life by his command. For he is the exalted, the majestic, and the regal one. He is the majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, and he is our icon of all icons. And let the wise shine bright, brightly with no more distortions because he has ripped the veil uh, as, as they pray unto our noble Lord who desires that all of his people can finally come to see that he's also the embracer of uh, lost hearts of hatefulness that are uh, ready to commit blaspheme of the Holy Ghost and let their love light go out so that they perish everlastingly and never can be in the presence of love. That just that thought just makes me cry. And I am the weeping uh, messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah. Like-hearted to him am I. And if you don't believe it, I've got several videos uh, where I'm weeping in this uh, channel. He is the nullifier of all curses, so they can be broken asunder by his absolute authority. If they'll only believe in the freedom that he's now sending through his word of his prophetic utterances. So beloved, it's time to, to, to do everything differently. And it's time to repent and turn around. So during this story time, I hope that you will just grab your uh, little friends. Make sure you always grab your little friends. Grab your little Elmo, give him a good hug. Grab Mickey and Minnie, because, you know, it's been a small world after all. A world of fears, a world of tears, and it, many you don't like that. Many doesn't even deserve that. But God's love has come to, to wipe it all away. So praise the Lord that this is absolutely true. And the best thing is that God's mercy endureth forever and ever and uh, so don't forget same time next time um, next week or whenever you uh, watch watch again if you'll come back to this station you're going to have some more really good stuff and it's ending now with a cliffhanger for you won't even believe what's coming next what's coming next it's the cliffhanger. It's the climax. And if you snooze, you lose. If you don't come on back, shame on you. Because it's going to be a good story time of desolation of Isaiah 49, 8 that we've all had. And Batman time. The judgment of God will begin in the house of God. So stay tuned if you want to know the future, because that is what I am unfolding now. Yeah, yeah you're not even going to believe this one. Ooh, it's getting better and better.